Hello everyone, Ken here, and today I'm going to show you how I built a simple mini wooden tripod. I wanted a tripod of my own, and even though it's cheaper to just buy one, I thought it would be easy and interesting to show everyone how you can make your own, even if you're a beginner. So let's get started. This tripod design was inspired by this build I found by Paulo Queros, and he does some interesting woodworking projects on his channel. So you can go and check him out and I've provided a link in the description. For this build, I bought 30cm long pieces of copper wood for this project. But you can use any length of wood that is within your budget and suits your needs. Although if I were to do this project again, I'll probably use narrower pieces of wood. But you'll find out why soon enough. I started out by measuring out small cuts of wood that I would need for holding the legs together. You need about two small pieces of wood per leg, with each piece's length about three times the width of each piece of wood that you bought. I had a friend lend me a jigsaw I could use to cut out the pieces, but if you feel like you're up to the workout, you can even use a handsaw to cut it out. Remember to sand down the pieces to make sure there aren't any splinters. The tripod legs will be done in two segments. To make the lower segment, glue the small pieces of wood between two pieces of the original length of wood that you have, and place one small piece at each end of the wood. I didn't have any clamps, so I used masking tape to hold the pieces together after gluing. But as much as possible, you should still use clamps as they are easier to manage and probably would hold the wood more closely together than what tape is usually do. I held mine together with books on top of the tape just to be sure. After the glue dries, check to make sure everything holds together and all the pieces are flush to the sides. Now we'll work on the upper segment of the legs. Mark out the center point along the width of three long pieces of wood and use that as a guide to place one of the small pieces you cut out on each piece. Glue them together and press onto them while the glue dries. Again, clamps are ideal for something like this, but you can improvise. Once the glue is dry, test to see if it fits into the lower leg, and that it can move smoothly up and down the length of your upper leg. If it is a bit tight, keep moving the leg up and down to smoothen it out. Once the fit is in place, take another uncut piece of wood and align it with your moving piece. Measure out the width of this setup and mark out on another piece of wood to cut out three small pieces of this length. Ideally, this can and should be done at the start all at once when cutting the first small pieces, but I was making this up as I went along, so things were slightly inefficient. Also take this time to make out holes for drilling at the ends of both upper leg pieces, and take care to place the markings in the exact same spot for each leg. After cutting and sanding the small pieces, drill out the center of each small piece. I use an M4 size drill bit, but since this piece is to hold the stopper for the legs, you can drill out any size as long as you have a screw that fits it. I drilled out M5 size holes for the upper legs, as I felt it would be safer if the legs were held together at the top with larger screws. Once done, place the first part of the upper leg into your lower leg, then glue the second half on the other side. It's important to get glue only on the centerpiece, because glue on the side would prevent the upper leg from moving. I should have used tape on the sides of the leg to prevent this and I was really lucky after the glue hardened that my legs weren't sealed shut. Now glue the small pieces of wood you cut earlier across the legs like what you see here. After that, just twist in any screw that has a large handle into each leg and the idea is to use these screws as stoppers to hold the tripod at certain heights. Follow Quero's design was made purely out of wood, but since I didn't want to get more wood, I designed and 3D printed a centerpiece for the tripod. The full model was bigger than what my printer could do in one shot, so I created dovetail joints between the arms and the centerpieces. 
I also found a tripod head mount design online so I printed that out as well. It was really simple to put the whole thing together with just some nuts and bolts and the movement in all directions is really really smooth. You can find all the files in the links in this video and all the pieces took about 30 hours to print in total. Looking back I should have started the printing of these pieces right at the start instead of being forced to wait for the prints to be done so that I can install them on the legs. But oh well, waiting for the prints gave me an excuse to take a break and that was what I really needed. Finally, you just have to put the legs together with the free printed centerpiece using long screws. I made some mistakes with the alignment of the holes in the upper leg, so I just drilled extra holes in the legs to make the whole thing fit together. Not the most ideal for the aesthetics, but it does get the job done. The screws I used were a little long, so I had to saw them off with a handsaw and file off the screws once I was done attaching the whole thing. There you go! An adorable mini tripod made with wood and some 3D printed parts. This build isn't the best because I wasn't the most precise with my measurements. Making it up as you go along is definitely not a good way to go about any project and I was lucky that it worked out the way it did. There are definitely many improvements that I could make to the design, most notably to have a centerpiece in the tripod to make sure the legs don't slide out too far. It was something I didn't fully appreciate the importance of in traditional tripods until I made this build. And if I could, I'd attach rubber ends to the feet so that the legs won't slide on the floor. If you have any suggestions on how I could have done things better, please let me know in the comments. And give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful. We'll be launching a new build video every Friday starting next Friday, so subscribe if you want to see more builds made on a budget by people in Singapore. This is Ken and bye bye.